Welcome back, everybody. The, cr- the couch is kind of crowded today, huh, Oz? Yup. I would like to welcome our special guest, Idan Sutaf. <laughs> What's up, y'all? My name is Eden. What's good? That's kind of hard to say. How you say it again? Eden. No, no, no. The Oz version. <laughs> yo, yo, what's my name, bro? <laughs> I was just informed his name is Eden, <laughs> aka whatever else he likes to be called. Podcaster, artist, uh, overall great person. I'm your proud co host, Oz. And it's me, LT, Marvelous for Long, man. Of course, we got a Latin on the ones and twos per usual. So, peace and love, y'all. Great to be back another Wednesday. What's going on? That's a fact. A quick recap of last week. Our Superwoman of the Week was the one and only Karina Evans. Our Lessie Lady of the Week was the one and only Thames. And our Prosperous Peer was the special Amanda. Yes, yes. Shout out to you three women again. All right, this week, we got a special guest. So, they are going to influence the episode with the women that they've chosen for their specific categories. But before we get started, per usual, an opening discussion to, to make things go smoothly. I, I thought of this great question. I know you're going to like it. <laughs> well, I feel like he's going to ask you uh, Is it wrong for a man to chase his kinks in a woman? Strictly for the kinks? Strictly for the kinks. But strictly is, is is aggressive. Just yeah, let, let's keep it, let's keep it open, like you know, like sheesh. How can it be good? How can it be bad? You know, like I don't think it's wrong for a man to chase his kinks in a woman. I feel like you make you make it known with what you want. You know what I'm saying? And that could be communicating. I could move forward with that. And if she's not the shorty to provide that kink for you, you know what I'm saying? Do those things for you or with you, matter of fact. And we don't. I mean. Then y'all don't gotta work out, you know what I'm saying? Not, you know, different folks, different strokes, literally. Like. I feel that, I feel that. What do you think, guys? Something that Iran said that stuck out to me was when you're able to communicate what you want, you find out if that person is down to do what you want with that person or not. Down to do what you want as a kink or not. And I feel like that's very important. It's either you rock with it or not. You don't have to succumb and do anything that you don't wanna do outside of your comfort zone. So, facts. I feel like if you wanna explore your kink with somebody and y'all both agree to that and consensual, go for it. What about you, LT? I mean, I feel like sometimes you don't know that that person has your kink. Like, they can create a kink. You know what I'm saying? They're capable. Like, the woman is capable of having a kink that you didn't even unlock yet. Like, she could do something <laughs> new, and you'll be like, yo! <laughs> I got a question, LT. What's your kink? Uh, that's, this is EU. We don't do <laughs> he said, that no, we're not doing it. I'm going to drink to that one. I'm going to drink to that one. You're not going to answer the question. Oh, you going to drink to it? That's crazy. You got to catch me on a ridiculous podcast. Get- <laughs> All right, copy, copy, copy. I'm gonna uh, keep that noted. I'm gonna keep uh, my you, in the back you. pocket. Uh, Alain, you wanna chime in on that? What you think about kinks, huh? You got any kinks? Deflection. Deflection. I don't believe it's wrong for a man to pursue his kinks in a woman. I feel like it's it's important that one communicates whatever it is that they want amongst each other because I feel like at that point, if you're not, you're just kind of like. Holding, uh, holding something back within each other, and that's kind of like now completely authentic. So you know, it was some of the communication. You know, so if, if someone's comfortable with it, then yeah. you got yourself a win. I feel that. I feel that. All right, so I ordered today in a PG-13 way. Kinks. Kinks. Figure out what they are for yourself. Unlock some new kinks. You know, be experimental. Maybe I don't know. Whatever you, that may be. Whatever that means. Yeah, yeah. Do yeah. what you want. Just uh. <laughs> Pursue them in a healthy manner. That's what I would say. Consent. And a respectful manner. Yeah, respect. Can we? I like to say, you know there's a kink that's a non-consensual, consensual, non-consensual? Whoa, whoa, whoa. whoa. Except for that one, you could do you. Bro, that's so <laughs> weird. I, I just, I'm sorry. That's I'm fly. Let me just leave that where that is. Non-consensual, consensual, We'll leave that for ridiculousness. <laughs> yeah, right. I feel that. Right. All right, so our first category per usual, a superwoman of the week, an honorable woman that you can model yourself after. Who have you chosen for the superwoman of the week? Super of the week. I'm gonna have to say Megan the Stallion. Ooh, okay. Megan the Stallion, I like because yeah. of the fact that like one out of everything that was thrown at her, you know what I'm saying? Like the allegations, everybody saying like she wasn't she wasn't shot, or even the fact that like they're, they're still coming for her for her style, like how she rap. She's still like you, she still kept it pushing. She still made that music, still made that bad. And at, out of all the things, she came out on top. I feel you know that. I mean? That's so, perseverance. Personified. Yeah, that's, that's, yeah. Anything you want to add to that, Oz? I agree. Just not let anything stop you from 
getting to the end goal is admirable and I could do nothing but appreciate that. Facts, so. yeah, we love you and appreciate your EU. Superwoman of the Week, Meg the Stallion. Yes, we can toast to that. to that. Shout out Meg the Stallion. Facts. Aladdin, spin that Meg. And now on to our second category, our Lusty Lady of the Week, presented by Idan. Hey, hey. Okay, Lusty Lady. I can't have the same answer, right? You could do whatever you want. <laughs> same answer? Oh, that'd be a first. That'd be a first. Listen, listen Megan takes a cake. Loving on you, loving on me. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I'm sorry. I, t- I say, this I say. This has become the Meg, the Meg the Stallion Run appreciation the show. Run the fly show. Yeah. <laughs> I'm a cowboy, feel me? Like, for real, for real. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you know what his kink is now. <laughs> nah, chill, chill. <laughs> whoa, whoa. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you know what I mean? Meg, chill. Nah, Meg, mean. chill. Meg, chill. Jeez. Well, one thing's for certain, Meg is definitely a woman we would all love a chance to love. And uh, that is a definition of lust. You are basically uplifted. Yeah. Meg the Stallion. Shout out you, two times. Two, yeah, t- <laughs> took home two chips and... That's the first, yeah. Two chips. <laughs> That's what's up. All right. Last category now. Yeah. Prosperous Peer. Mm-hmm. Meaningful category. Someone who's impacted your life on a personal level. Who do you want to shout out for the Prosperous Peer today? Prosperous Peer. I ain't going to lie. I have to shout out my homegirl, Alex. Uh, she's a recording artist. Alex, you know who you are. Like, she's... Bro, she... she and everybody I've met since I came home, since I started music, she's been on it. You know what I'm saying? Since I met her, and I can't. I respect that grind, respect that hustle, I respect her ideas, bro. Like she's played me joints, and I've never heard a bad track. I feel that. So That's fly. Shout out to you, Alex, for real. After hearing all the the appreciation, I want to change the word of the day to perseverance. Okay. Because that's been the theme today. So okay. Perseverance, I feel like, is the word of the day after all that. Shout out, Alex. You. Indirectly impact our lives here on EU by being you, so we appreciate you. Thank you for your existence. Shout out, Ed. shout out you, because Idan is someone that's mad talented. So the fact that he sees your artistry and thinks you're amazing, wow, keep doing you and keep being great and keep influencing. You are embracefully uplifted. Check out her music, man. If, if you're gonna if you going if you gonna watch this and respect her, check out her music. That's all Definitely. I gotta say. You won't be disappointed. Definitely. And you won't stop calling me Edan. <laughs> <laughs> this is another Wednesday of Embrace Lap Left and thank you so much for being our guest, man. Thank you, bro. I could be nothing but thankful to see you. My thank dude. you, bro. We definitely appreciate you, man. Yeah, appreciate thank you for you, grazing our platform over here, EU. Shit, thank you for having me, bro. Y'all got something good going on. Yeah, uh, we got hey, something man. for Alex we wanna give her. From you, a nice little EU us. token, a EU wine glass oh, for her. Oh, is that for you? Yeah, yeah. Make, if you don't give it to, to you, <laughs> play this video, you know. So how come I don't get one? How she get one now, I'm playing? <laughs> <laughs> you just came with wine in it. Right, you're right, you're right. You're right. Yeah, make sure you subscribe to the YouTube channel. Definitely. Instagram, follow us, and we will be back another Wednesday. But as always, Aladdin going to close us out with some kind, thoughtful words to go forward on your Wednesday. Thanks. Hey. Happy Wednesday. Enjoy your week, y'all. Happy Wednesday, y'all. Peace and love. All this Aladdin back another Wednesday for Embraceable Uplifting. Want to leave you with a very positive message to go forth with on a Wednesday per usual. And that message this week was actually inspired by an Instagram post that I saw recently from at We The Urban. It said, doing your best looks different every day. So what I'm going to speak on today just is the idea of growth now and change, essentially. Every day, it's clear that we know you wake up every day and you're a new person. So I feel like it's important to, to embrace the idea that you are a changing being. And essentially, you would never be the same as you were yesterday. So don't don't fault yourself for that. And just go forward with the positivity and embrace yourself. Be your authentic self. So y'all take care. Enjoy your Wednesday. Embrace what uplifting. Peace, y'all. To a beamer like she beanie man. She like my hat, snap backs, and my beanies, man. Ridiculous.